The mandate of the heavens lies with the yellow turbans. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the Imperial Court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. Sometime before the storm that was the Yellow Turbans raged through the land, one man strode onto the stage of history for the first time with a desire to lead the people with his teachings. Stop loitering! Out of my way! I... I'm sorry, sir. My home was swept away by the heavy rains. Not only do we not have enough for this month's taxes, we don't even have enough to eat today! Please, sir, you must at least allow us to keep enough to feed our children. I don't care to hear your pathetic sob stories. It's your responsibility to look after your own. If you can't pay your taxes, you will be punished. But, please... Oh, this is most distressing. These men are supposed to be in a position to extend a helping hand to those suffering in poverty, and yet... Zheng Zhao, the leader of the Way of Peace. He gave himself the title of Great Teacher. In his mind, there was no way to alleviate the people's suffering other than to bring about the end of the corrupt Han Dynasty. Together with his brothers, John Lian and Zhang Bao, Zhang Jiao led his people in rebellion. It is unacceptable. I will have a word with that magistrate. No, please, you mustn't. You don't know what will happen to you if you dare to rebel. Oh, I wish I were dead. No. I wish I had never been born into this world in the first place. This land is full of greed and corruption, and the people suffer the torments of natural disasters and heavy taxation. Brother, I do not believe we can expect anything good from the government of the Han court anymore. Indeed, it is time to bring down the curtain on the age of the Hun. We must bring succor to the ravaged souls of the people and blow a new breeze through this rotten land. It is for this exact reason that the heavens have seen fit to grant us such strength. Our brother, 
Zhang Liang waits for us. Together we must create a land of prosperity under the rule of the Yellow Turbans. The people here in Guangzhou are also suffering through corrupt governance and have not even the strength to rise up against their oppressors. Brother, if we do not bring an end to the decaying Han leadership soon, the people's spirits will be broken beyond all help. I am aware of that. We must destroy the old structures and create a new world order. In order to do so, we must rouse the people and make them our comrades in this mission. But do you think the people will understand the tenets of the way of peace? They are poor, malnourished, abused, and sick. Their souls are almost destroyed. I cannot believe they will have the strength to rise up. Then we must ease their suffering through a demonstration of our miraculous strength. Once we have done so, if we introduce the people to our teachings, their souls will surely respond in kind. A brilliant plan, brother. The people's heartfelt cries for help echo throughout this land of Guangzhou. Some suffer through illness, others through the corruption and greed of the magistrates. We will listen to their stories and relieve their pain. We must bring salvation to those in need. everyone to defend this area. Hey. That evil merchant. Just how much money does he want? Hmm. It would seem that I have discovered another lost soul tormenting the weak. I will bring down the judgment of the heavens upon him. Please? Will you end this greed? He must be carrying the things he stole from us.
Looks like someone is after my wares. Bodyguard, time to earn your keep. The time for judgment has come! A miracle of the land! Confiscate these ill-gotten wares. You must henceforth refrain from bringing pain and suffering to the people. Please, you can have all of this. Just spare my life. Oh. How dare those? You need a horse. I'll be here if you need me. Hey, get on in here. Come again. this back from that merchant? Thank you so much! Get it? The heavens! That made this possible! Excellent fighting! Someone has been arrested for defying an official who tried to extort money. Seriously, this is a travesty! The corrupt official is clearly to blame! Oh, how dare you bring such suffering to the poor people who have already endured so much! I will punish the infidels and rescue that man! Rebellion! The youngsters! What are you doing? Watch it or my bull will trample you. Okay. 
whose life has been destroyed by the Han. Now is the time to right your wrongs and build a new land together with us. This guy might be exactly who we need to change things around here. I'm gonna join the Yellow Turbans today. Possible. Wow, you're amazing. Has the world witnessed the true strength of the Yellow Turbans? We have managed to rescue the starving peasants. Now their gratitude is palpable. We have brought justice down upon the heads of the greedy evil magistrates. Our virtuous strength will soon be known across the land. We have managed to save so many in need. The people of Guangzhou are suffering from disease. I would create charmed water to deal with it, but I have no paper. That is no problem at all. For the sake of the poor, directionless peasants, I will secure what you need. More and more devotees are the way of the yellow turban. Thank you. Lord Zheng Zhao. Thanks to you, I feel like there is some hope again in this world. Ah, if only someone like you would lead this land. That's right. I'm sick of the way things are run around here. A land ruled by the yellow turbans, just like Lord Zhang Zhao talks about. That's what we want. Please, let us help you. Brother, look at this passion, this hope! Yes, I can feel the will of the heavens working through me. I will spread the teachings of the way of peace and lead the people to a new land. That is my divine destiny. Listen, comrades! Follow the teachings of the way of peace! Never forget the value of a faithful heart. If you stay loyal to our path, then I swear I will lead you to a land of peace and harmony. Come, we must rise up against the Han oppressors and strike down their corruption and avarice. The yellow turbans are the way of the future! Yeah! Whoa. Heave! Heave! Ho! Brother, our new comrades seem wholly committed to our cause. Yes, life has been breathed back into this former wasteland of Guanzong. 
I hear rumors that the court has issued a decree to wipe us out. But our comrades are fighting bravely throughout the land, and have already overcome many units of the Imperial Army. Another miracle of the heavens! Great Prophet, our comrades in Qing Province are in terrible danger. They have come under heavy attack from the Imperial Army, and are struggling to hold them out. Brother, what shall we do? If we turn a blind eye to our comrades in need, we will be as bad as the Han Magistrates. We will go to their aid! Our comrades in Qing Province have set up camp, in a garrison at the foot of Mount Yuli. We should be able to rendezvous with them there. Yes! Together with our brave comrades of Qing, we will slay the rampaging beasts of the Han! Ah! There you are, my lords! We're so pleased to see you here! I'm Jot's son! I was moved by your powerful words, and just recently decided to join the Yellow Turbans. But enough about me. I've been dashing around, and I picked up one or two useful pieces of information. The commander of the Imperial Army is Gong Soon Zun. They've secured most of the key bases on the battlefield, and are having their way with our allies. Right now, we're pegged in by the enemy on all sides. We can't call for help since the Imperial Army has secured control of the port. Um, that's about it, I think. I tried to keep things brief and to the point. You have done well to obtain so much information so quickly. You have earned my praise. You must continue to use those strong, nimble legs of yours to scout the land and report to me what you find. Ha <laughs> ha! No problem at all, boss. But that Gong Soon Zan, how dare he prey upon my precious comrades! We must hurry to the aid of our people, and we must defeat Gong Soon Zan with all haste! I will advance from the north. Once I have seized the port, I will go to the aid of our comrades. I will go via the south. Our men there are in the most urgent need of assistance. May we use the gifts that the heavens have bestowed upon us to teach the ravenous brutes of the Han a lesson they will not soon forget. Ha! We must slay Gong Soon Zan and rescue our comrades in Jing Province. Forward by the cavalry! Crush these agitators underfoot! A miracle of the past! Curse that Gong Soon Zan! He wants to crush us completely! Yeah. He can't get out of this season! The time for judgment has come! A miracle of the man!
fighting. shall serve as a strong foundation for my teachings. Stop! 
stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! Take Turbans, destroy the peace of this land. You will taste the wrath of my spear! Ooh, you seem to have a true fire and determination about you. I believe I will have to maintain my focus to overcome you. It is up to us! to secure the area. Everybody, follow me! I have been bested. It would appear I still lack the necessary strength. We have fulfilled the will of the heavens! We're saved. I thought we were finished once we were surrounded. It's all good now. Now it's time for the yellow turbans to attack.
Search for malady? We are all comrades, all equal in our desire to bring the land under the rule of the yellow turbans. Gong Soon San has been repelled, and the Imperial Army in Qing Province has crumbled. The morale of our comrades continues to soar with every victory. I bring news, everyone! The Imperial Court has dispatched a colossal force to attack our comrades in Guangzong. Guangzong is our base of operations. We cannot allow those animals to seize it. All forces, gather in Guangzong! Zhou Zong, stay on the move and let me know any new information you uncover. Sure thing. I'm already off and running. If anything were to happen to you, brother, our people would lose their spiritual leader, and the battle would be lost. I suggest we begin by scouting the area. Yes. In that case, we should meet up with our allies in the village just before Guangzhou and counterattack from there. My fellow Yellow Turbans, this is our greatest trial yet! But beyond this test lies the land we have all dreamed of! All forces advance! Together we will fight! Together we will survive! And together we'll create a land of peace! Our comrades are struggling in battle, and are in grave danger. What's more, Lord Zhou Tsung, who was scouting the Imperial Army forces, has not returned. You vile, despicable monsters of the Han! How dare you harm my precious comrades! Zhang Bao, Zhang Yang, we must hurry to our allies' aid! Listen closely, everyone! We are the men of the Yellow Turbans. We will never bow before the inhuman scoundrels who serve the perfidious Han. 
I will perform miracles here today and cut open a path for you all. Comrades, follow me. Long live the yellow turbans! Long live the yellow turbans! The people I have led have become a powerful force for good, raging through this land like a mighty river, devouring the wicked like an all-consuming fire. We are on the road to peace, but I need more time. Heavens, if you have any mercy for the downtrodden, then grant me just a little more time. One last gasp of life. Rise up, yellow turbans! We must take down the great villain of the Han, Dong Zhuo! 